What's up you guys, I'm Eric and welcome back to my channel. No, you grow up. So I don't really do the kinds of videos that I'm about to do right now. So this is gonna be very new for me. But since the announcement of Wave 10 of Super 7 TMNT Ultimate figures, I have not been able to stop thinking about this situation. And the one thing that I really can't stop thinking about is all the rumors we've been hearing. So before I get any further into this, everything that I talk about has not been confirmed by any actual credible source. But clearly the rumor that I'm talking about right now, and again, we're gonna treat it as a rumor until it's actually said as fact by someone from Super 7, is that Playmates is hamstringing Super 7 and not allowing them to base figures off their original designs anymore. We've seen that quote from Brian Flynn floating around, but I don't even know where that came from. Everybody just shows the quote. Nobody's showing like the video that it was a part of or anything. On top of that, there's another rumor that's going around with that that says that the horsemen are actually off the line and that they're doing these figures in-house now. And again, neither of these have been confirmed, but there's a lot of smoke around this situation. Just looking at Wave 10 alone, it definitely feels like it's just something completely different than what we've been given before it. Even looking at the Casey alone inside that wave, he just stands out so much from the other figures. And I'm not gonna lie, these sculpts do look like they were done by somebody different. They just look a lot more clean, a lot more sterile, and they just don't look like anything in the line that's really come before it. Even the cry figure that was shown and then unshown or whatever happened there, like it just doesn't look exciting to me. It looks like a very sterile figure. And if that's the route they're gonna go, I think it's gonna be very hard for them. But getting back to the Playmates rumor, if this is the case, the only thing in Wave 10 that we really see that's even Playmates-esque is the repaint of Casey, and the actual figure of the classic rocker Leo does look very similar to the original Playmates mold. So it makes it kind of hard to completely believe the Playmates rumor. And again, I'm not saying that it's not true, but there's weird things like that that are still going on. The first thing that we saw that was kind of a change in this line is when they introduced Gorilla Gorilla instead of Sergeant Bananas. Now Gorilla Gorilla is based off something, but it's not based off the original Playmates figure, Sergeant Bananas. So as I started thinking about this, I went back to look at the figures and I saw something on Big Bad Toy Store that I can't remember if anybody's talked about. I don't remember anybody saying that Wave 7 got delayed. And it didn't just get delayed, it's pushed back past Wave 8 and Wave 9, which I'm not gonna lie, kinda has me worried. On Super 7's own page, it says that the 3D prototypes just got approved, but these figures were shown off a long time ago, so I don't understand why this is happening now unless they had to go back and redo the figures. The Playmates rumor is true. Why would they just let them trickle out figures over the next year and a half and then just make them cut it off that far down the road? It seems like if Playmates was calling the shots, they'd want an end to it now, which really got my mind spinning, and this is kind of why I wanted to make this video. At this point, I'm kind of worried that we might not even be given any of the remainder of the figures that have been shown the way they've been shown. If the Playmates rumor is true, I wouldn't be surprised if they're pulling the plug on a lot of figures that have already been shown. Super 7 is not the kind of company to get out in front of things. They're the kind of company that makes a mistake, they see what kind of blowback they get, and then they decide to address it afterwards. They're never gonna be upfront with it until they're absolutely pinned in a corner and they have to talk about it. And this kinda has me worried about that. It's speculation at the end of the day, that's all it is, but it's just very strange. We've seen things get pushed back before. We saw it happen with Thundercats, where Wave 2 got pushed back beyond like Wave 4, so it does happen with their things. But I'm pretty sure that was a completely different factory issue and they ended up having to change factories for that entire wave of figures. Everything that is going on just really has my head spinning. I love Super 7, I've loved this line, but if it's gonna change into something that's completely different, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably done with it. I'm still gonna grab everything that's based off the original Playmates designs, if we still get them, but I don't think I'm gonna follow this line any further after that. I think Super 7 has spread themselves far too thin to do anything in-house that's gonna be even in the ballpark of what they were doing before. Like a lot of people, I bought into this line for a very specific reason, and that very specific reason was the nostalgia of the original Playmates figures. That really was the heart of this line, and I know a lot of people like the updated stuff, and I do too, it's really grown on me, but that stuff's just a plus to the Playmates nostalgia. There's nothing wrong if you like these new designs, to each their own, I'm not gonna shit on anybody that does. That's not why I wanted to make this video. If you like those figures, awesome, and I hope the line does keep going, but I think a lot of people are in the same boat as me, and we are just very disheartened by this situation. But I'm just really bummed to see what's happening to one of my favorite two turtle lines. This line just had so much potential, and I know a lot of people are saying that it's not Super 7's fault, but here's the thing. We don't know what kind of deal, if any, they ever actually had with Playmates. We don't really know. We don't really have any answers because they're not very open about that kind of stuff. So you're right, it might not be Super 7's fault that they can't do these molds anymore, but the one thing I can blame them for is that they played the long game with us 
and now it's came back to burn us. We're never gonna get the Rat King we want, we're never gonna get the Trag we want, we'll probably never get the Usagi we want. And it just bums me out that we came so close to getting all the 89 figures to go with our 88 figures, and I'm just always gonna be left with this unsatisfied feeling now of what could have been, what could have we gotten, because clearly, at this point, I don't think we're ever gonna get what we thought we were gonna get. And at the end of the day, I know a lot of people have like real problems in real life, and I'm lucky that these are my problems. It's action figures, and I'm probably gonna do some more talking about the Super 7 situation. I can tell you right now, our next episode of the podcast is dropping tomorrow, and we recorded it just before all this information came out. So episode seven, I can guarantee the news section is gonna be a lot of me and Brendan talking about this situation still. He and I both really love this line. We're both kind of feeling the same way right now. We're both kind of putting out videos because we just want to talk about it so bad. But I can guarantee you we're still going to have a lot to say to each other. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you guys for sticking around. Take it easy, be safe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.